So we talk about boron. So I got labeled as the boron person of the group or boron guru would be a good word. So boron guru of the group. And it's just because I like to put it out in a lot of different ways. People have seen a lot of responses from boron and a lot of the reason is, is we put it on a reproductive time for the plants. Um, it's important for pollen tubing, seed sizing, and moving of sugars in the plant. So it's got a very important role in reproduction. And reproductions are time when all our growers are making their money. You gotta think about boron or like sulfur or anything else, like it's in a screen door. And the way we figured out to do this, we just have to keep treating it in slow amounts because it's almost like it's just running through a screen door. We never wanna put it in a trench with a seed, but when I'm going into tube or two or into strip freshener, then we're gonna put a sniff of boron down from anywhere from a pint to a quart. And when you say this, we're gonna talk about a quarter pound, half a pound, a whole pound, you know, of actual boron that we'll be putting down. We'll take it in a planter and in a strip till in the spring of the year, we're gonna be looking at a dry product. It just, it just works good for me. Boron's really important in there, uh, cause really moving that photosynthetic energy, the sugars and stuff that are produced in the leaves into the reproduction, uh, the seeds, and, and helping get that movement, keep it going back and forth. And then when we're going over the top a lot of times, I really like to go with something that's liquid. It's a lot of, it's sticky, it has a sticky agent. In my mind, the simplicity part of it, that we're just sticking fungicides, uh, micro packs, we're sticking things to it and kind of getting a better stick on the leaf. And also it has, the boron in it as well. You need to treat boron with respect. I get it. Took, it takes a lot to get to boron toxicity. I'm gonna laugh about that and y'all that know me know I've tried it. So it takes a lot to get there. But what I'm saying is I don't think there's any one way that you can address boron. And if you can, you need to dress it in spoonfuls, you know, if you will. So we're gonna dress it a little bit at a time in each stage and every time we go across the field, we will have some amount of boron in the tank, whether it's on wheat, beans, or corn. And when you start looking at tissue samples and the way that the boron moves through the plant and how long it stays in the plant, then you wonder when does it need to be in the plant? And with that being said, sometimes you don't need to just leave the levels up all the time in the plant. Because the boron is there to actually, it's actually there to help with pollination. It helps there, so I wanna really run them up. I'm gonna, if I'm gonna run them up, I'm gonna run them up in that V10 or 12 and start ramping them higher, headed into pollination is when I really wanna see my best numbers. And that's a hard time to run it up. But we figured out that if you just let it be low and then you try to run it up, it's really hard to run it up if you're in a deficit with it. So if you're in a marginal area and you just hold it marginal, hold it marginal, hold it marginal, and then run it up, it's a lot easier to do. So that's why I say that a lot of times what I wanna do is take it and give it spoonfuls, 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 keep it trickling in where I'm keeping it in the normal range, if you will, in the plant. And when I keep it in normal range, it's easier to spike it at certain times when the plant may need it.